Hey, what's going on team? Eddie Gray here. Today I want to talk to you about the modifier plugin. If it's something that you have not played with, today is the day that we start to implement it in your arsenal. So before we get into it, we should definitely look into what exactly is the modifier. So let's read up on it a little bit. So this plugin here is going to let you quickly reassign MIDI CC or fader events. So these two are like distant cousins. You can also scale or add to the event values. This button here that says through, it's essentially a bypass. Input event means which event are you going to use? Is it going to be the mod wheel? Is it going to be a rotary knob? What exactly are you going to use? And then you're going to reassign that to a certain parameter. And we're going to do that right now. The scale and add slider are essentially going to change how much of the signal you want to implement. And here at the bottom is what we're going to do. We're going to assign and send MIDI events to plugins in the same channel strip, allowing you to control parameters without using MIDI CC messages. So let's uh, let's just make this simple. So right now I've got this sound source and let me turn off the modifier. I want to make this a little bit more interesting. So you could see that I have some Let's see here, a little bit of modulation, okay? So without it, it sounds like this. So then when I add it in, it sounds like this. And the reason that's happening is because with this patch in Alchemy, it's been pre-mapped to the cutoff. So again, check this out. So all I'm doing is moving up the mod wheel as time goes on just to give it some intensity. So then now rather than having to copy this MIDI, finding another parameter and doing that whole thing, you use the modifier plugin. So what I'm going to tell the modifier plugin is, hey, take the mod wheel information that we just recorded and reassign it. In addition to the cutoff, I want you to assign it to the lo-fi, which is on this same plugin. And you could modify it to other things in the channel strip, but let's just try this here for now. Now you can see it's moving a little bit differently and that's because I have set the scale and the add button or slider to kind of move in a different way and to play in a different way. This is best illustrated by my second instance of the modifier plugin, which I will assign to the transformer pad, the XY pad here. So let me go ahead, hit that menu and say learn MIDI. And I'm going to bring this down here to where it says deep and I'll just kind of click somewhere in the middle. Okay. Uh, hold on. It didn't do it there. Let's try that one more time. I'll click right there. Okay. So you can see that now it's been reassigned and now it's going to happen automatically by nature of the modifier plugin. All right, let's say I wanted more movement, more activity. I'm going to change the add and let's see what happens here on the XY pad. Let's increase the scale slider. So that influences its behavior and its position, right? So here, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and assign it one more time, learn plugin parameter, and we're gonna assign it right up here. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. That would have taken such a long time in the past. You gotta remember, I would have had to find everything inside of this menu. I would have had to copy the MIDI over and over again. And it just would have been a very redundant process. So this plugin allows you to move a little bit quicker if you wanna take the same modulation sources. In this case, my mod wheel could be something else. And you wanna reassign it continuously to various parameters inside of your plugin. As stated, if you want to, this can also reassign to other sources in the channel strip. So 
what I'll do here on this third instance of modifier is we will assign it uh, to the EQ. And so I'll just hit learn plugin parameter and I'll just hit the decibel sign and let's see if this works. Okay, team, thank you guys very much for the time. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and sub. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you're liking the content, as always, just spread the love. Just spread the good word. All right, team, take good care. We'll talk soon. Cheers.